guys, a lot of you have been asking what I do with all my fat packs and why do I need so many of them and etc, etc. Um, what I do with my fat packs is the same as I do with every fat pack, be it Dragon Maze. And to me, there's no difference between Dragon Maze and um, Battle for Zendikar. There's honestly no difference because the same utility, I get the same utility from it. I buy a bunch of fat packs or booster boxes and I don't store them. First of all, a lot of you are saying that hoarding and I'm trying to do it for money because I'm greedy. Hoarding magic products, sealed magic products is not a smart idea. If you look at RT, especially now, if you look at RTR, $80 David Adams shipped to your door. If you hoard, if that was the set that you chose, and there's many reasons that you know I would rather have RTR than Battle for Zendikar, mainly because of the five shock lands and the abrupt decay and then the revelation and all these other kind of va valuable cards in that set that are not, do not exist in this particular set. Yeah, you have expeditions in this set, but I've always assumed I'm not lucky enough to pull one of those. So yeah, actually this week we're gonna have videos, box videos, like opening videos of like all just random boxes at the store. And I didn't want to bore you, so I just did summaries, but we did pull expeditions from there. Anyway, my whole point being is, I'm making this video, is I keep these fat packs or booster boxes, normally they're booster boxes, and I just draft with friends. Um, I draft with between four to ten friends. Uh, we draft once a month, and I'm kind of in charge of bringing the fat packs and stuff. And it's really nice, because uh, my friends, a lot of them are Chinese, and the way that they behave, I guess, is a little different from in Americans because I have American, I have American friends too, obviously, uh, who play magic with us. But uh, they will be like, "Okay, you, here's a fat pack. I'll treat you to dinner or to a bar, or you know, I'll pick up your tab at these other places we hang out." And that museum, actually, I went to a museum of natural history, which was a lot of fun. And I didn't pay for anything. Like I was just like, you know, just run tab out, and that's how. Um, I guess like I was raised was if you are at a meal, it's not like everyone splits the meal and pays what they ate. Just one person pays it and then you know, you're, you know that person and then you trust that person, that person will pay for the next meal. And that's the same with the fat packs and stuff. So a lot of my friends do are, who play Magic are Asian, but you have uh, some who are not. And they understand the same concept because it's, they pick up a bar tap. So, uh, when you play with them, the fat pack I found to be extremely, so normally I don't buy fat packs. I found the fat pack to be extremely relevant to the way we play. And we normally do sealed, and once sealed is over, we do a draft. And the fat packs have nine booster packs, it has enough for sealed and the draft. And more importantly, it allows them to take home their cards in the little box, because let's say that they are like messy or drunk and they're you know, wise or sniffing, others pick them up. They need a little box to like, take home because like there's so many times I I can tell you on the driveway where they after a night of uh, playing then they just like spill the cards all over the driveway and they can't find it because it's dark outside and that's happened multiple times like multiple times on uh, when their wife comes to pick them up and their wife's like what the hell and their wife's like pick, like uh, you never want to make the significant other like trust me on this one you don't want to make them mad if you want to play Magic the Gathering because. To them, that's like taking time away from them and all that interesting stuff. But anyway, we have drafts and we have sealed and we do it one night and it turns out to be a really fun night. Uh, and uh, we do it once a month. We did RTR last month, or I guess, yeah, last month. And then we did original Zendikar about five months ago before it was announced it was Battle for Zendikar time. And that was really kind of fun. Uh, we didn't. Uh, when you have a fat pack, it's honestly the ideal size to hang out with your friends. It's enough to do a sealed and a draft. And that's perfect for uh, a whole night of entertainment. It's a lot cheaper than like other nights of entertainment. If you want to go to a bar, if you want to go to uh, various places, hopefully I'll have prices of my favorite bar, tavern, I guess. Uh, even if you want to see a movie or something like that. I don't know, a fat pack, if you bought it for the right price, you can play it. And I, I don't actually have that many fat packs left. I have a lot of Dragon Maze left, but I purchased like two times more Dragon Maze fat packs than I normally. I have um, Conj and Tarkir left because of the Fetch Lands. But other than that, like these fat packs, I don't hoard them. I don't try to make, I don't sell them. That's why I don't even sell any magic cards anymore. I just don't. Um, and my altruist actually said, hey, you can trade me magic cards. I don't even trade magic cards anymore because of how many people think I'm trying to like take 
it, it's very bad and I just don't do it anymore. So like this, and there's no point, like there's really no point because I have play sets of everything I really need. Why, what am I trading for? Like maybe altars and that's it, about it. If you have, if you're an artist, if you are an altarist or artist, I just call them artists. And like I combined the two words in one <laughs> and you want to trade me cards? Yeah, I'll trade you cards, no problem. But normally I would just PayPal you. It's easier, I don't need to ship it and uh, anyway, that's what I do with these fat packs. They will all be gone very soon because all my friends, we are drafting this week. We're drafting twice this week. We're drafting Saturday and Sunday. Well, I mean draft for, and then that's uh, a lot of people are interested this time. So you have eight people, you have six people, eight people, you have 14 times two, that's 28 packs gone already. You have my patrons. I'm sure my patrons are telling me, keep them, keep them, keep them. Don't worry, patrons, we're gonna raffle off one. So I'm gonna split the land. I'm gonna make that in the next episode. It's complicated. I decided that was the best way, way to do it. Uh, and then Bobby, Yossi, you guys are set with this month. Are we gonna do it next month? Maybe, are we gonna give one of these away on the channel? Probably, like, unless they get draft like crazy. I don't feel like they're gonna draft again. We're gonna do like a weekend of just having fun with sealed and draft. And then they get bored of the set and then we go on to an older set. Like drafting, playing with older sets, like fat packs of older sets, is just insanely fun. And it's not that expensive when you compare it to, you know, a night outside at a club or a bar or obviously like, the girlfriend, my girlfriend would prefer that we spend the night at a bar, but like, I went to that, I went to a Korean restaurant. It was called, what was it called? Um, anyway, I'll ask her. It was like her favorite restaurant. For two people, it was like $110. And then with the tip, like we always tip well. And that's like, there's no way you're gonna have a magic night with just bear, pizza, Papa John's, fat packs there. It's gonna come close to even like $50, right? And that doesn't make any sense. Um, so that's one. That's why I realize these are not the worst value, even if you bought Dragon Maze. To me, it's all the same. It, the purpose of these fat packs are the same. We're gonna draft with them, and we're gonna do sealed and draft at the same night, and then they're gonna not spill their cards in my driveway and piss off their wives and girlfriends, which would make it easier for, it, you know, then my girlfriend would be pissed off. And it, Anyway, this is the perfect device because they can hold their cards and not drop them. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, that's why I'm buying these, but that's why I buy them. Otherwise, I just get boxes. Um, I prefer boxes, because uh, I just like opening more for less money. Bye guys.